In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to properly discharge and test this RunStar AC capacitor, or really any capacitor for that matter. I don't wanna waste any more of your time, so let's get right into it. Okay, we've made it over to the workbench, and as you can see, I have my Mailon capacitor discharge tool here. Now, this particular discharge tool runs about $20 on Amazon, really cheap for what it does. I'll throw links to everything in the video down in the description, so check that out. Now, the Mylon discharge tool here, it will discharge capacitors from 10 volts to about 1,000 volts, so it's a really wide range of capacitance discharge that it will handle. That is a really nice one, and for $20 at the time of this recording, you really can't beat that. Okay, and I also have my Ecolo discharge capacitor tweezers here. Now, this will also discharge between 10 and 1,000 volts on the capacitor, so it can handle a lot as well. It's okay, just first up is my Titan Pro. This is a run start AC capacitor. Now these are around 370 volts AC and both of these discharge tools will handle discharging this capacitor. Now this one's already discharged and if you're working on a live circuit, make sure you discharge this before removing it from the circuit. I've got mine removed already for ease of demonstration and all you would do is touch the tweezers against both contacts like that I would just do all of them just to be safe. And once you've done that, it is properly discharged and safe to work on. Folks, if you've made it this far in the video, do me a huge favor, subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. That way you never miss one of our future how to do it yourself electrical videos. With that said, let's get back to the video. Okay, and I've charged up a 25 volt, 1000 microfarad capacitor right here, just to show you how this actually works. This is a DC capacitor, so I charge it up with my DC power supply. You'll see that right LED on the discharge tool has lit up. It means it is discharging the capacitor. That will go dimmer and dimmer and dimmer as it does discharge until it's off like that. And next up is our tweezer style capacitor discharger. And I'll just demonstrate real quick if you were to use this style on this 25 volt. So I would just touch one metal contact to each side of the capacitor and that LED right there, as you can see, lit up and then died down. So it has properly discharged this capacitor. Now that we've properly discharged our capacitor, it's time to test it out. Now you'll wanna grab a multimeter. Just about every multimeter has a capacitance test mode. And that's gonna be the line with the curve line and another straight line. It's always gonna be that symbol. So I'll flip it up into, I have to hit shift button, get it into the capacitance mode. As you can see, I'm touching the red and black meter leads to each side of the capacitor terminal. And we're getting right around 997. It's fluctuating a little bit, but it's supposed to be a thousand microfarads. We know that this capacitor is working. Next up, I'll test a very common run start capacitor. You'll find this in your air conditioning system. Around the house, this is probably the most common capacitor that you're ever going to change. Now, a lot of the run start capacitors will have three terminals. You're really concerned with the Herm in the C. Now, this has already been properly discharged. Like I said before, never ever handle it before you do discharge it with one of those tools that I showed you. So we're gonna go across just like the small capacitor, each terminal there. And as you can see on my meter, I'm reading about 78 microfarads. And this particular capacitor here is rated for 80 microfarads with a tolerance of 5%. So we are indeed within that 5%. Okay, and finally, I've got one more capacitor I can demonstrate here. This is a five microfarad, also air conditioning capacitor. I'll go ahead and double check with my capacitor discharge tool that it is discharged. Neither of my LEDs are lighting up, so I do know that it's safe to test. Now I've still got my meter in the capacitance test mode. I'll place one lead on each side of the capacitor, and I'm getting around 5.15 microfarads. This particular capacitor is rated for five microfarads, so I do know that this capacitor is good. And folks, it's that easy to check any capacitor. Folks, thanks for watching, and if you loved this video, Watch this one right here next. I picked it out just for you. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel right here. That way you never miss a future free do-it-yourself help troubleshooting video.